Yo, what up? It is Mr. Benjamin Byrne here on a cold February day, chilling, and I wanted to switch up my videos this time by recording here in my apartment. <laughs> ah, God. I, don't, I do actually leave my apartment, by the way. Um, and on that note, this video is all about the curse of overthinking. Not over drinking. <laughs> That's a different curse here in uh, East Coast Canada. Um, but no, it, overthinking in business. So we're actually going to record like a podcast on this today or maybe tomorrow because we got to get our shit together. <laughs> but um, this is like a, a common trend I just see so much. Not like, especially in myself and my buddy Ryan here, we're trying to do some business stuff, but with everybody. So like, um, I'll give you an example of how I actually, like, how one way to like crush overthinking for good. Because back when I was in engineering, um, I used to, like, I would, we would get these big engineering problems and you have to do all the steps, like thermodynamics or some crap like that, or like designing like some machine to do something. And anywho, um, I'd be like, okay, first I have to do this calculation and then this one and this and this and this. And I would basically, for lack of a better word, I would mind fuck myself into uh, like, I would just like overcomplicate everything. And then I, two hours would go by, two or three hours, and here I've barely done the first problem where other people are like, done. <laughs> so I was like, man, what is going on? And I finally uh, partnered with Mike, my buddy Mike in that class, who uh, just was just killing it. And I was like, Mike, okay. <laughs> he's like, what should we do? I was like, what should we do? I think we have to do this and this and this. And he's like, dude, just start at the very first thing and do that. And like, that's what I do. <laughs> and he's like, I was like, oh, duh. And I still forget this lesson all the time, but you know, so I'll give you an example of uh, like a new client of mine. He's doing a book funnel. I won't drop his name, but he's doing a book funnel. He wrote a book on uh, live streaming um, and it's cool. So we're like, okay, where do you want to take it from here? Right? This is like the very first thing you need is clarity all the time. It's always clarity is the first thing you, you like, it's like everybody starts with like the 50 part funnel that they need or like you know, the various upsells or something. It's like, okay, first of all, how much money do you want to make? You know, second of all, are you targeting the right group of people? You know, do you have your offer right? The basic stuff, right? This is very basic business stuff, which is super important and most people just forget. Okay, so I was like, okay, next step. You know how much money you want to make? You have a book written. Awesome. <laughs> and he's like, well, <laughs> I'm not going to, I'm not even going to get into it, but it's like this, the next step is like, what kind of offers can you make to make more money? So if you go from book, what's next? You know, it could be a book into like a higher ticket program, like a course. It could be a book into uh, like one-on-one -on -one consulting or group coaching or any kind of coaching. It could be a book into different like uh, affiliate offers, cross sells. So like it helps to, you know, once you figure out <laughs> you got your niche and everything, like settled you got your you're solving like a good problem and you're making money okay like well then it helps to take like a lucid chart or something go to lucidchart.com make like a bubble thing so like what actually has to happen before I get money so it's like step one someone who doesn't know me they see an ad for example and then they click that and then what happens like okay maybe they go to like a landing page and you know, maybe I get their contact information on the thank you. It's like they buy my book or so. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Like <laughs> this is just ballparking, like um, or spitballing. Anywho, it's but just map out exactly what has to happen before you get money. Like, do you have to go on a phone call with them? Do they have to read a sales page? Do they have to, you know, talk? Do you have like a call center? <laughs> um, depending on how big your business is. But the, all this stuff is very like. It might take like an hour or two to do, but once you do it once, it's going to give you so much, so much clarity going forward. You're like, okay, I know how many sales pages I need. For example, I know how many pages, I know exactly what my offer is, you know, and then you just have this all out in like a blueprint and then you just go ahead and just create the pages. <laughs> and it's as basic as it sounds, like this is like internet marketing 101 and uh, it's super helpful if you're constantly like just wondering like what the hell should I do you know just start very simple um, hopefully this helps <laughs> it, if I was just rambling and you got this far 
uh, we can like just message me and I can like I can help you out, you know. And then uh, we'll talk talk to you soon. All right. That's my uh, sweet cash flow positive shirt that I bought, by the way. Good shirt, good shirt. Uh, they're for sale. Actually, they're not. This is the only one. Sorry. Anyway, enough of me. Good, good day.